Hello and welcome back to FX Street. Today we're going to take a look at Dogecoin and uh, talk about how sad I am uh, the, due to the fact that Dogecoin is not breaking out. Uh, and each week I kind of am hopeful uh, that it's going to break out. And then each week I get disappointed. So yeah, before I actually drown in my misery and sorrow, please make sure to know to the YouTube channel and click the subscribe button. And if you want to stay updated with the hardest trends, make sure to click on the bell icon as well. Right, you can follow us on Twitter at FXS Crypto, and if you like the stuff that I do, you can uh, give me a follow as well at Mangeko, which is about the end. Right, let's uh, take a look at Dogecoin. Right, uh, right. As I explained in, in my previous video, like I'm gonna go through it very quickly. I am extremely bullish, not extremely. I'm relatively bullish on Dogecoin compared to Shiba Inu because I think Ship kind of had its fair share of attention, the spotlight in the 2021 bull run. And Dogecoin kind of took the backseat. So now that Musk is acquired, is like acquiring Twitter, I think Dogecoin is hopefully, in a way, going to play some role, if not a major role. Even if that doesn't happen, I think Elon Musk is going to be the sole reason why like Dogecoin is going to like kind of like kickstart its up uptrend. And yeah, like that is one of the uh, not fundamental side of things, but the external factors that could uh, that kind of align with my bullish thesis, right? And that is pretty much it for that. As from a technical standpoint, the falling wedge is still intact, and each week the price gets like extremely like hammered down. Uh, this let me just show you what's happened here. There was amazing, uh, amazing new higher. Uh, I think it was I don't know when or uh, what the event was. Uh, kind of I keep forgetting. But there was a breakout and then price finally like closed lower, which is under the upper trend line of the wedge. Uh, here was another red week, red week, and then another similar breakout style where the price kind of failed to sustain, closed under the falling wedge's upper trend line. Something similar is happening here as well. But fear not, guys, we have this weekly demand zone here, which extends from 0 0.1 to 0 0.12. So as long as this level holds, I don't see uh, a major threat for. Uh, Right, so in the case that the 0 0.1 support level kind of breaks down from probably a weekly or three-day perspective, I think there's a good chance price will head down to 0 0.078. Right, I don't see it going beyond that. Like, and even if it does, it's it's gonna be in an extremely bearish case scenario. Like I mentioned, for ship, uh, it it is only gonna happen if Bitcoin heads down to 29k. Right, in that case, we could expect this FEG here extending from. 0.01 to 0.04 to be thin. So uh, the upside, however, uh, from a weekly from the falling wedge pattern perspective, assuming we get a close on the next candle, next weekly candlestick, uh, the 68 percent upswing kind of pushes Doge to 0 0.21. Uh, kind of not a lot from the previous uh, target here, but uh, even for that, right, we need a daily close above. At least a daily close above 0 0.16, which has been like a major level of support and resistance uh, over the last few days, actually over the last year. So yeah, that is pretty much it, guys. Upside cap at 0.21, downside cap at 0 0.1 if we are lucky. And if we're kind of uh, unlucky, we'll probably get it down to 0 0.078. If you enjoyed this uh, analysis of Dogecoin, uh, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.